Good morning, dear aspirant. To start with today's news, Manu's historic bronze open India's medal hunt. This comes under, uh, actually this comes under prelims. Prelims, you may expect question from this area uh, because uh, the 22 year old who is competing at her second Olympics. So this time because of women's 10 meter air pistol event where she won a bronze medal. So it is a India's medal count actually. Uh, she is the one to open the India's medal count. We are expecting more. O over a period of time before uh, since Olympic started, India has nowhere got a place to win this kind of medal. But now in few uh, recent years, this is happening. So we have to uh, wait and we have to uh, hope for the uh, uh, participants to win more medal for India and bring, bring pride to India. See, Olympic is an international sporting event and it will be conducted every four years. The goal is to cultivate human beings through sports and also the contribute to world's peace. So, summer game, winter game, youth, Olympic games, there are many number of games as there. Historically, it have a root origin 3000 years to ancient Greece, Peloponnese region and uh, the first modern olympic actually held in athens greece that is during 1896 uh, uh, based on the program called peridi corbatin so olympic symbol consists of five interlocking uh, rings of different colors blue yellow black green and red on a white background these rings represent the five continents of the world and the symbol is the unity and diversity of nation and that is through sports. So we have winter Olympics, summer Olympics and summer uh, Olympics 2032. So Niti Aayog, Niti Aayog comes under GS2 governance. Before Niti Aayog, we had a planning commission with 10 states and union territory representatives skipping the 9th governing council meeting uh, of Niti Aayog, chaired by BM Narendra Modi. And seven of them are boycotted. Niti Aayog is just a think tank, India's policy making think tank. Niti Aayog have a core role of making, uh, giving suggestion and information to the better policy framing for a government of India. So the CM of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Telangana, Punjab, Himachal, Jharkhand uh, basically they are the anti-BJPNs who does not have any alliance with the ruling country of government of India. So they, uh, this uh, chief minister, minister says that there is a lack of allocations and projects to their states in union budget. This now, it, this is actually the question of uh, federalism. Okay. Then, Niti Aayog or uh, National Institution for Transforming India is a policy think tank of government of India. Uh, the aim is to foster involvement and participation in economic policy making process. It is formed in Jan 1, 2015 replacing the planning commission. The chairperson is uh, headed by PM and followed by uh, the vice chairperson will be appointed by the PM. The governing council consists of CM of all states and lieutenant governor of union territories. So the regional council is to address specific regional issues comprising CM and lieutenant governors chaired by PM or his nominees. So ad hoc membership two member in ex officio capacity. Uh, ex officio capacity have uh, formed and ex officio member is maximum four from uh, union uh, council of ministers who will be nominated by PM. Chief executive officer will be appointed by a PM for a fixed tenure in the rank of secretary and special invitees or expert social specialist with the domain knowledge nominated by prime minister. The key in initiatives are ADP that is aspirational district program so the, the aim is to transforming the district where the district have a very low development and lesser progress in social areas like health education. Atal Innovation Mission encourages innovation and entrepreneurship among young minds and business. In that aspect, they have introduced Atal Tinkering Lab in schools. India Innovation Index measures innovation capabilities and performance of Indian states and union territories. National Health Stake aim to create a digital infrastructure to support healthcare programs in India. 
South Africa's new la law on climate change. So this comes under GS3 environment. South Africa president signed into a law a piece of legislation that will impose mandatory curbs on the emissions from large fossil fuel heavy industries. The president said this would enable South Africa to meet its emission reduction commitments under the Paris Agreement. Climate change bill was approved by South Africa's National Assembly. South Africa relies on coal as its primary fuel source for electricity generation and is one of the world's top 15 greenhouse gas emitters. Okay. So every country submits national determined contribution. South Africa submitted its first NDC in 2016 and its updated NDC in uh, 2021. Uh, Why? What about India? India does not have a comprehensive legislation on climate change. Uh, so the Rajeshaba parliamentarian had a mood a private member's uh, bill called a Council on Climate Change. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day.